in this video we'll talk about the toxic shock syndrome toxic shock syndrome is a serious condition caused by a bacterial exotoxin bacteria like staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus pyogenes produce some exotoxins which can trigger super antigens which can act like super antigen and trigger non specific t cell activation this would trigger a huge inflammatory response in the body and that is the manifestation of toxic shock syndrome the symptoms of toxic shock syndrome includes very high fever vomiting and nausea like feeling skin rash which kind of resembles sunburn and there is diffuse erythema throughout the body so the question is who are most likely to get affected by toxic shock syndrome anyone from any age group can get affected because it's a bacterial disease anyway it might include men female children or even postmenopausal women so a person who is having a deep uh, cut let's say in the hand or let's say a female who is having a history of using super absorbent tampons or there are surgical wounds which is unprotected and that person has a poor hygiene all these scenarios can lead to staphylococcus innervation in these regions and might it might lead to staphylococcal infection and eventually it would increase or elevate the risk of toxic shock syndrome so the key aspect of toxic shock syndrome is is uh, basically due to the super antigen that is produced by staphylococcus aureus the super antigens lead to a false alarm in the immune system it triggers the activity of many immune cells and create a chaos in the body so non specific activation of the immune system by the staphylococcal super antigen is the key cause of toxic shock syndrome now basically whenever uh, the pathogen triggers a non specific immune response that creates a chaos and due to chaos there is an increased chance of survival of the patients it's survival of the pathogen so if the immune response is not targeted towards a particular pathogen then overall it's a futile process anyway any normal antigen can work like this it can bind to the mhc class 2 whereas a super antigen can laterally bind to a mhc and Uh, tcr leads to non specific activation of the t cells now the fact is the staphylococcal super antigen would trigger the activation of different clonalities of the t cells and that would eventually form interferon gamma or tumor necrosis factor alpha all these are pro inflammatory cytokines so it would evoke a huge inflammatory response in the body so how to treat a uh, toxic shock syndrome the options include uh iv drip of antibiotics giving intravenous fluid can reduce the chances of organ damage and heart medications can be provided in people with very low blood pressure so it's a bacterial infection it's treatable with antibiotics but if untreated it might lead to a life threatening threatening situation so get note and flashcards in my facebook page or instagram all the links are provided in the description you can support our channel using super thanks and please follow us on all social media links are provided in description see you in next video